Greetings, mate. Stuart Charles here, HomestudioBasics.com, helping you make sound decisions leading to a beautiful audio experience that will make you fall in love with music all over again. So, let's get right into the truth about Grado headphones. Now, I want the truth! Some people might watch this video and say something like, You don't have any idea what you're talking about. Well, to that I say, You don't know what you're talking about, do you? I feel... Uh, qualified to talk about this because I've had plenty of experience with Grado headphones over the last three or so years. Um, Audio Advice carries all of their E-Line and so I've gotten a chance to demo all of the headphones on numerous occasions. In fact, one specific time I went there and just with the intention of just sitting down and trying to discern a difference between the cheapest uh, model 60E and the most expensive model, which I think, I believe, if I remember correctly, is the, I think it's the PS1000E, and I will, um, I'll put some type of uh, indication up on the screen, but, yeah, I mean, the first issue really is the law of diminishing returns, which you guys know I've talked plenty about, I made a video on. If you had to explain the concept to somebody uh, in audio, the first thing I would point to is, um, Grado headphones because they are one of the best indicators of that phenomena. Build quality of a Grado doesn't really change much uh, as you move up. It's one of the most disappointing aspects of the E-Line uh, because really the headphones themselves, they don't really change much as far as uh, weight and materials. Some people actually I talked to have never had issues with build over the years, but other people have, so it just, I guess it really just depends um, on which one you get, but uh, the difference between a 60E build-wise and a GS1000E is not really that significant. I mean, the the, the cups on the, the GS are built, they're, they're actually made of wood, whereas um, the 60E and the 80E are mostly plastic. But they, they both feel like if you if you hold both of them in your hand, maybe the GS1000E is a little bit heavier, but by and large, uh, the build is pretty much the same um, on all of them, which is kind of pretty disappointing considering you're spending uh, $1,000 roughly on a, on a 1000E versus, you know, $60 to $100 on a, on a 60E or 80E. So that's um, a little bit off-putting. And... The other issue with build, I think, is the cable. They made the um, the cable on some of the cheaper models is way too large. It's way too thick. It's like dummy thick. It's like dummy thick. But I'm dummy thick. <laughs> the cable on the 60E and the 80 is not too bad. It's not it's not that thick. But once you get up to, I think, 225E and 325E. The cable is way too um, bulky in that you can't really uh, plug it into a phone with a case. Now, this is not the case all the time, no pun intended, but there were times when I just, I had to take my case off of my phone just to plug the headphone in, which wasn't uh, really ideal. The 3.5 mil jack is also very bulky on a lot of them. And um, it's just, it's just not, um, it's not satisfactory really. Um, the other problem with uh, Grado headphones is comfort. Now, the 60Es and, and the 80s are pretty comfortable because they use the S cushions. The 325E uses the Ls, which are the absolute worst cushions imaginable. Even people that love Grado headphones have told me that they, they can't stand uh, the L pads. I don't know why. Uh, Grado decide to even manufacture those. They're pretty much useless. Um, I guess if you were to put uh, a G cushion, so there's also uh, G cushions that come on the 1000E, the GS1000E. I guess if, if you were to put a G cushion on a 325E, it might work, but the S, the S cushions are definitely the most comfortable, but they still they resemble something and feel like something that you would find in your local drugstore circa like 1995. <laughs> And so that's that's one of the main issues, really. It's just everything feels just kind of cheap. And, you know, the headphones are light, so they're not going to clamp, really. But they will start to dig into the top of your head after a while. The G cushions were okay. They were better than the L's in that they don't, um, they don't really press against your ear. There's, there's ample room given so that when you're wearing it, um, the pad makes it so... It comes off of your head more, and there's more room inside. 
uh, whereas the uh, the L cushions just like they really uh, intrude upon your ear and make it so it's almost impossible to wear the headphone for more than like 30 minutes without having to take it off or make some type of adjustment. Um, the other issue is sound. Now, <laughs> it's hard to really completely fully bash a, a Grado because most of the sound signature they do get right. Like there's a very, very good bass, nice, in, nice impact and weight to the bass, um, which is surprising considering they're open backs, but I really did enjoy the bass on the 80 and the 60. And I did a uh, little comparison between those two that I'll link up here. But, um, and the treble is not quite as bad as um, people make it out to be. It's definitely on the brighter side, but it's not too bright. The problem comes in the mid range. And if you look at graphs of, and I've, I've done this before, I've looked at a graph of each uh, headphone going up the, the line as they get more and more expensive and the graphs are identical there's no there's actually no difference between a 60e and a, uh, a GS 1000e and this is true for the entire line but there's a there's a spike at 2k that's just so <laughs> unnecessary that it render basically renders the headphone um, almost useless I mean I got to demo a GW100 a uh, the Bluetooth version and even that was the exact same sound signature uh, it sounded great at first but then as you the more you listen it's like you start to get that sense that something's wrong and it's in that mid-range area um, definitely not definitely way more forward than even an HD 600 and you know how I feel about the mids on the 600s so it's not advisable <laughs> to even invest in anything more than a 60 or 80 because of that spike now you can eq it down like uh, metal 571 but even even metal like just would never recommend and i don't i really can't either uh, I, I don't think i would ever even own a 60e because i would just never listen to it <laughs> unless i were to eq that 2k area down now if you do that it sounds the, the headphone is really really good outside of that but I just don't understand why they decided to do that. Um, I'm not gonna make a dig at older. At, uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna make a dig at older people here, but I don't want to get into this with you, man. <clears throat> why not? Because <clears throat> I'd kill you. I, I fully, I firmly believe that um, Grado headphones will appeal to older folks more so because. There is a loss of hearing as you get older, and that's just basically a fact of life. I mean, that's really one of the main reasons that Tile retired was because he felt like um, he wasn't doing the headphone world or the audio world justice anymore with his opinions because he could acknowledge the fact that his hearing wasn't what it used to be. So for older people, yeah, they're going to absolutely love Grados because of that. That spike actually makes it so... it it. Um, it makes up for the loss, I think, in in your hearing if you um, if you're a little bit older. So, for younger people, it's just you're gonna you're gonna tell right off the bat that something's off, and um, it's one of the main reasons why I can't really and don't really recommend uh, Grado headphones. People ask me about the 325e. People swear by the 325e. I mean, <laughs> some people people used to fight me on this but i don't really get as many of those comments anymore because one i just don't really review grados and two um i don't know <laughs> i don't really know why but i don't really get challenged on it much because i think people are starting to understand and realize that there are better options out there than a grado headphone so yeah my recommendation would be to um just kind of bypass the series altogether um and go with the 6XX. Goodbye. No. Um, if you really, really want uh, to try Grado, just get a 60E. Because the 60E and the 80E sound identical. Uh, they're built identical, comforted. Everything is just the exact same. So no no sense in spending $100 on an 80E when you can just get the 60E. And see if you like it. I mean, but myself, I wouldn't really um, have one of these in my possession. So. so yeah, what is the truth about Grado headphones is that basically they all sound the same. Um, I think the biggest difference that you will find is, is, is the pads. So 
the sound will and can change depending on which pads you use but um, other than that it's there's really no difference between them even going up up the line for me I, I did feel like the the GS 1000e was probably the best out of the lot but I think that's because of the G cushions and that they kind of um, give you a better sound stage and give you more room um, for your ears to breathe and for the sound to breathe so yeah that's about it for today guys I hope you enjoyed this discussion uh, leave me some love down in the comments and don't forget to subscribe if you like what I do here and you want to support the channel hit that patreon link down below and last but not least don't forget to ask me about my grandchildren yeah Review brought to you by Stu. Here's the coda. I'm nasty on the mic. Call me warm soda. Chopped up this beat real fine, like cold produce. Steady in my veggies so I can focus. On my David Copperfield, y'all hocus pocus. A little loopy when I wrote this. Esoteric dopeness. Cultivating the will of a soldier. Fighting through the pain like Dooku. I told ya, sold you on my style. Snapping on cats like Private Pile. I get semi wild every once in a while. 911 on the dial. Alone at the top with no rival. Dark is my world without a Bible. Without God's love, there's no survival. So my mindset is tribal. Yeah, my mindset is tribal. Yeah, yeah, my mindset is tribal. Yeah,